we're here today with Mike Gale at, uh, is it Calvary? Calvary Chapel of Fort Chapel. Lauderdale. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, tell us a little bit about Calvary Chapel. Certainly, we're a uh, large non-denominational Christian church. Uh, we have campuses uh, all over South Florida. Our main campus is here in Fort Lauderdale. From an IT perspective, we support all the campuses. So we actually have uh, fiber optics interconnecting our campuses, and we support them all here from the Fort Lauderdale uh, location. Okay, and just prior to this uh, chat, we took a, a walking tour mm -hmm. of your, your data center room, and the, uh, uh, it was remarkable to see the amount of technology that drives the, the, the various uh, efforts of, of the organization here. You have uh, quite a state-of-the-art inventory of equipment in there. Thank you. Yeah, it, it's uh, interesting and surprising to many people when you hear church, generally it'll form in their mind something uh, relatively small with a few set of pews and maybe one server running Microsoft Small Business uh, on it. Uh, in our case, uh, we have a weekly attendance of about 20,000 people and as I mentioned, multiple campuses. We have video production, we do streaming, we do podcast, we have full business office, uh, accounting staff of probably about 10 people alone just in accounting. Mm -hmm. So th that whole picture of you're working with a church is kind of flipped uh, when it comes to church is like Calvary Chapel for Lauderdale. Okay, now uh, DataCore Software happens to be just down the street from you. However, mm -hmm. they weren't initially a component of your architecture at all. Your, my understanding is that you, I'm not sure when this dates back to, but you purchased some equipment from a, a, a name brand vendor. We uh, did. Uh, uh, and uh, the storage equipment that went along with that. Uh, what was the what was the the issue that drove you to virtualize your storage? I guess. <laughs> We had an interesting uh, path into virtualization, both of servers as well as storage. Mm -hmm. uh, we learned about it, really started to hit the trade press heavily in 2005, 2006. That's when we sort of started looking at VMware as a server virtualization platform. Mm -hmm. I had some previous experience with it and was confident that it was a solid platform. So that drove us to look at storage. At that time, we were running standalone servers with dedicated storage to each of the servers. We did not know about storage virtualization. So we bought the, the normal industry line of go out and buy a, stand, a standalone SAN and drive your virtualization through the standalone SAN. And that's where, as you pointed out, we started off with some pretty industry standard uh, SAN technology and then v, VMware ESX servers. About a month later, we were at a VMware users group meeting, and uh, we heard about DataCore from some of the other people there. In fact, uh, Betty Grant, uh, our DataCore representative at the time, was there, and the most remarkable woman uh, that you'd ever like to meet introduced us to DataCore, and we went, wow, th this is the solution everyone should be looking at. Mm -hmm. uh, and that drove us to reconsider our deployment strategy, and we immediately turned around and started moving towards uh, DataCore products. Okay, let me get a couple of facts straight. Um, approximately how large in terms of capacity is, is your storage infrastructure? Right now on the, our campus, the DataCore is managing, we're running it at about 26 terabytes. Okay, uh, and from what you showed me, the um, equipment that you had previously purchased you didn't return it, but you've uh, put it into a different role, mm -hmm. and uh, the deploying DataCore somehow or another enabled you to uh, to uh, obtain equipment from another source at a much reduced price. And how's that working out for you? So you're not dedicated to a brand name vendor anymore. You're you're kind of buying uh, 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 the the white box solutions and then using virtualization from DataCore? I tell you, it is one of those facts about going with storage virtualization, DataCore in specific, that, that gives you freedom you never thought you had. It did give us that opportunity to look around and say, what storage fits our, our budget? Mm -hmm. Where can we get the most storage and provide it at the performance rate that we need? Mm -hmm. And with DataCore, we serve it up to DataCore, it serves it up to our servers, and we don't have to care. We can miss, uh, mix match any storage solution we want. So we do have the uh, Ariasys uh, JBOD boxes, and we have some other boxes, and we serve them all up to DataCore, and our servers don't know the difference, and it gives you that flexibility to reuse server storage that's already on campus without having to go out and replace everything.